Now that you have the account plan and account classes defined, you are ready to create accounts. Accounts are associated with a chart and the account format is based on the setup from the chart of accounts plan. You need to determine if an account is going to be a control account, meaning is it going to be an account such as accounts payable or accounts receivable. On the general tab, you need to make sure the account is active that the short code is unique for each plan and that the account class is entered. The Management tab allows you to determine if the account is subject to tax and if you create reporting codes which are used when creating financial reports. The Miscellaneous tab has several flags, fixed asset tracking and default signs for all accounts as well as BP authorization which is required if the account is flagged as a control account. You can set budget tracking and dimension types, which are discussed in the dimension type training topic on the analytical tab. Additional account information can be tracked on the pyramid, address, and bank ID tabs. Let's take a look at creating accounts in your system. To add accounts, select the accounts function under the common data menu. Because accounts are chart specific, select the correct chart by clicking on chart in the right hand panel. I'm going to select the NA2 chart. To add a new account, click New. Enter in the account number. The format is based off of the plan set in the chart of accounts. Enter in a description. If the account is a control account, meaning it's accounts receivable or accounts payable type account, select the control option. Enter in a short description used for reporting and then enter in a short code. This short code needs to be unique for each account in each plan. Make sure your account is active and then enter your classification, which we defined earlier. Accounts receivable are assets, so I'll select Asset. On the Management tab, determine if the account will be used for tax management. Mine will not, so I select Not Subject. You can also enter reporting codes, which are used when creating financial reports. On the Miscellaneous tab, we can determine if the account is going to be used for 1099 tracking, or if it's going to be used for fixed asset tracking. We also determine the default sign as well as the default balance. Accounts receivable accounts are debits, so they will both be debit. Because it is a control account, we have to determine which BP the account is, will be authorized for. Since I am creating an accounts receivable account, I will authorize for my customer BP as well as my miscellaneous BP. On the analytical tab, if we had any dimension types to set, we would enter them here. As we add our accounts to pyramids, they will list here. If we're going to be creating miscellaneous paper checks, we could add an address for our account number. And if we're going to be doing electronic banking, we can enter in our bank ID information. Once we have all of our information entered, we click Create. This will add our account to our chart. In this lesson, you have learned about the many features of creating an account. You determine if the account is going to be a control account and used with receivables or payables, and you associate it with an account class. You determine if it is going to be taxed or not and set reporting codes that will be used when creating financial reports. You learned about various flags and the sign of the account, and if the account is a control account, what BP authorization will be allowed. And finally, you learned about setting dimension types, if budget tracking is turned on, pyramid information, address, and bank ID information.